Alright guys, well, it is another exciting, hot, sticky, midsummer day here in the end times in Doomsday Trailer where it is a Saturday afternoon, April 20th. It is 4.20 today. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything with the 4.20 analogy or not. Uh, uh, boy, maybe my little dog. Uh, have you decided to not abandon me anymore? See, my little dog is, I have been uh, traded in for a lizard. You want to come into the AC or not? Come on in. You act like you don't like ranting, but uh, when I start ranting, then you come in. So I guess it's, it's either it's either getting too hot for the little dog out there or more likely it's getting too hot for the lizards that he's chasing. As reading this article about this uh, species of lizard in Arizona that appears to be just extinct that it got too hot for a lizard and they just went uh, they just went poof but I'm not here to talk about lizards. I don't think I'm here to talk about lizards, but you, but you never can tell. So uh, here it is. It is a, another exciting Saturday, my final Saturday in Doomsday Trailer after being in Florida for six months. So uh, once the sun, the brutal heat starts to fade, I will go sit on the dock by myself uh, having a sunset margarita, then come back to Saturday night, sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass. I have no gig, uh, no music to play tonight, and I have eaten my last clonopin. Uh, so, <laughs> so I will have a musicless, clonopinless last Saturday night to uh, sit here with my thumb up my ass and review uh, trying to figure out how I got myself uh, into this mess and obviously uh, trying to figure out how to get out of it and as part of that you know still clinging clinging to uh, your old doomsday lonely heart, clinging by his fingernails to pile of fish where I got a, I actually have a message from a woman and uh, assuming a, a real human being actually have a message, you know, a personal email for the first time ever uh, up, up north she is, what is she? She is a 62-year-old backwoods hippie chick who likes to play guitar and listen to music and relax in the woods. So uh, anyway, wish me luck with her. Uh, and, 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 and again, I don't even know. I. You know, I'm looking at her picture. Uh, she has a, uh, a BMI of probably about 20. So she passed that, but you know, looking at her face, I, she's obviously older than 62, uh, for one thing. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at, at this picture of her and going, okay, if, if this woman were AI, that if she was not a real human, why would she pick, why, why would she create this face to uh, advertise for a man? Uh, you know, like that, the last time I came on here reading that, that uh, profile from that supposed real woman who had no photo posted as you're seeing more and more of on pile of fish because you have to verify your photo by sending in a 
picture of your fucking driver's license or passport or whatever so they can do a facial recognition scan on you to make sure you're not a scammer or an AI bot as more and more and more of uh, these profiles are and uh, I was surprised when I posted that. It, it, it never occurred to me that that woman uh, what, was, what was AI, was not even a real person. It, it never occurred to me, but then several of my buddies, now I just let you in here, you're not going back out to get the lizard. Give up on the lizard. Okay, you're in here now, you might as well hang out, forget the lizard. This guy, this dog is obsessed with lizards. So, all of this uh, rolling around in my head, and then between pile of fish and uh, sitting here with my thumb up my ass and thinking, how am I ever going to get a woman back in my life? And I open up the mainstream media, and it's several versions of this article. I see it's on Reddit and whatnot, titled. <clears throat> Tech exec, tech exec predicts AI girlfriends will create a $1 billion business comfort at the end of the day. And this is this long article about it. it, it it's particularly talking about AI girlfriends in this, but then it, then it has a link on, on AI boyfriends. That, uh, that this isn't limited, it, it, this isn't about, I, I just assumed what this was about, is what you would automatically, uh, if you got a one-track mind, like most of us do, you, you just think that this is, you know, a bunch of teenage boys jerking off or something, but uh, it, it, apparently what they're talking about here, uh, now, now, some of them are that. It, you, you know, it's just to get some AI girlfriend, uh, uh, whatever, uh, blah, blah, blah. But you already have uh, internet porno for that. Uh, so what they're talking about here is actually creating dating sites where the, 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 the real dating sites are so full uh, uh, of these fake ads, uh, that, like, like just go ahead if you can't beat them, join them, and, and these things it costs hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars to create these these fake romantic partners, and and and, and it really isn't uh, about jerking off. It's about that you go on and, and you, you, you know, you, you create, well, well <coughs> you physically uh, create your, uh, your, your AI girlfriend or your AI boyfriend. You know, there's some of that, the, the, the physical creation, but it, it, it goes in a, a, a lot deeper and uh, you uh, put in your interest in, in all of this stuff that you would, uh, that you would have with a real person. And, and then you, you, you literally create your tailor-made romantic partner. And, and uh, they talk to you and everything. Uh, the technology is not quite there. It's still a little bit rough particularly the, the spoken conversation, but you better believe within the next year that uh, you, you'll just be able, and, and so it, it, it uses chat, uh, GB, the, you know, these AI chat bots that I, I guess if I, and, and, and I don't have a brain for this, uh, that I, I, I guess your little uh, avatar, or, or, or whatever that this person is working through uh, through through these AI chats to know how to respond 
to you so you can have a conversation, so you can set up, uh, you know, you can look for your doomer chick forever. Uh, you can put in there that, that you're interested in the collapse of everything, uh, the, the sixth mass extinction, uh, climate catastrophe, whatever you put in your, in your interest, and, and then you, uh, you, you build the uh, woman or the man, and, it, uh, and, and I guess you, you can put whatever kind of clothing you like. But uh, again, this is not, by and large, a porno site that the, your, the, the person you're talking to is fully clothed <clears throat> and, and you're just looking for intelligent conversation. Well, probably 99% of people are looking for clueless morons. And I, I, I assure you that I, I, I don't know why I, why I, I mean, you never see the term intelligent conversation mentioned anywhere in the story. I put that in myself and as soon as it came out of my mouth, I, I, I realized uh, how ridiculous that was. But, but, but you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's just looking for, for someone to have a conversation with. I, I, I am quite sure, I'm 100% sure that you can, you, you, you know, you can uh, develop some uh, woman wearing a MAGA hat. Uh, and, and you, you know, wearing a t-shirt with Joe Biden hogtied in the back of a pickup truck or whatever. Uh, and, and, and then I'm sure by the same token you could, uh, that, that you suffer from Trump derangement syndrome and you and your, and, and your girlfriend uh, could, could trade Donald Trump MAGA jokes uh, all, all day long. Uh, and, and, and the more I think about this, and, and they, they mention it at the very end about the, the something about poll. I'm not uh, gonna break all of this down. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know the sample size and all of that. Uh, <clears throat> a recent survey which they have uh, a link to, this is at the very end of the story, found that nearly 20% of Americans have already flirted with chatbots. So these are called chatbots. Nearly half of them, over 47%, uh, did so out of curiosity, while 24% said they were lonely and seeking interactions. Uh, nearly 17% uh, the survey said they were AI fished, you know, P H I S H E D, that nearly 17% said they were AI fished, meaning that they did not realize they were even talking to a chatbot, you, you know, talking about uh, all of these uh, people on these dating sites uh, who have been catfished. Uh, by uh, by AI bots, and um, then and, and I was shocked by this, and uh, you know the the survey uh, found that I would put the word only twelve percent were seeking sexual chat. Uh, now of course uh, uh, some of that is that because people were lying. But uh, you know, even if even if twice as many people, uh, you know, so according to this, if the people weren't lying, that eighty-eight percent uh, of the people uh, thinking about these these chatbot girlfriends or boyfriends, and I'm sure they have gay and lesbian ones. I. I, I I'm quite sure that they have gay and lesbian uh, chatbots. I mean, why wouldn't they if there's a dollar to be made in it and a 
apparently they're they're claiming this is going to become a one billion dollar business. And uh, you, you, you know, I mean, I'm I'm just reaching the point of of, of frustration. Uh, just it, 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 it's the only way. I am ever going to find my Doomer chick forever. The, the only way. Uh, that, uh, so, uh, it, 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 am I going to spend hundreds of dollars? This shit is, uh, is you know, these dating sites, uh, they're not free anymore. But what is it, $50 for three months on Pile of Fish, or then probably all of them are like that. Uh, I mean, these goddamn things, they're, they're tailor-made. They are custom-made. It, it, it's not like the same chatbot girlfriend or boyfriend is cheating on you. Uh, you know, what would be the advantage in that. You, you, you know, you, you get you one of these AI girlfriends and, and you're thinking to yourself, how many other doomers uh, is my doomer chick forever uh, out there flirting with? You, you, you know, about love among the ruins. No, this is you create your own doomer chick forever. As long as you pay the money, uh, you, you've got your Doomer chick forever. Uh, you can just sit here and, and video chat with her all day long. And, uh, and, and guys, you, you know where this is going. Uh, I, I mean, so they've, they've, they've got these chat bots. They've got these more and more sophisticated robots. And, of course, they have these more and more sophisticated sex dolls. Uh, and, and, and you start it, it, put, putting all of this together, I guarantee fucking to you, I guarantee fucking to you that there that there's uh, entrepreneurs trying to figure out how to put this all together in, in, in a package. So uh, what? Ten years from now, you're just gonna be able to. Uh, 3D print a, uh, a, a, a your Doomer chick forever, uh, you know, to actually have a real, listen to me, a, to, to have a Doomer chick uh, chat bot, sex bot, robot, uh, just uh, <laughs> hanging out. Uh, w w with you, uh, and and I'm not at all sure I wouldn't go for it. Uh, the the main reason I wouldn't go for it is because I'm a fucking cheapskate. But uh, you, you reach a fucking point. Anyway, six fucking months I've been down here. My my last Saturday night. Uh, six fucking months. My last Saturday night uh, in in Denellen, Florida, and uh, I, I I'm gonna be sitting here uh, on fucking Netflix uh, with my thumb up my ass. Uh, it, it, it it's just uh, it, it, it's just a fucking sick joke. Hell yeah, I would take one of these. If it was free, uh, I would be I would be setting one up right now. <sighs> but anyway, I'll put the link in here to you, and uh, and and they have links to uh, these different. Uh, right now, these companies are up and going in business, uh, and and you can and if if you want one of these girls or boys. Uh, for your own, if you want your very own Doomer chick forever, or Doomer dude forever, uh, I'll send you the link how to do it, and send me a report how it's working for you, dude.
Ugh, fuck. I, 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 you know, we are truly fucked as a society. How the fuck we came to this? A planet of 8 billion people. 4 billion women on this planet right now. 4 billion women. Uh, and and uh, I, I am sitting here alone uh, on, on a fucking Saturday night. Uh, like I'm sure the little the the little backwoods hippie chick is probably sitting there playing her guitar alone on Saturday night up there. Uh, so I so I answered her ad her her email. So she sent me an email saying that you you know let's get together blah blah blah. So I, I replied back to her in the most vanilla language, just absolute vanilla, polite, gentlemanly language. I, I mean, it's the same language that I would have used with, I, I don't know, a, a, a vacation rental client. Uh, or a real estate client. There, there was absolutely nothing anywhere uh, in, in my email the, the, the slightest uh, sexually suggestive. Uh, believe it or not, there, there was nothing remotely related to a four-letter word. Uh, I, I mean, there wasn't a damn or a hell, uh, much less a, 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 a fuck, you know what I'm saying. Uh, nothing in that email could be on any level considered uh, risque or offensive to any woman on this planet. So I went, so I, I wrote this email out to this woman, this nice polite email uh, saying, well, I, I'm going to be home in a couple of weeks, hope we can get together, blah, blah, blah. And, and I go to send it and I get this message from Pile of Fish flagging my email saying, uh, are you sure you want to send this message? And I'm going, going what? And, and, and it says, you know, the little, uh, and, and, and it happens in, in one quarter of a second. It, it, you know, the little uh, AI bot reads the message and, and says, uh, <clears throat> We think that some women may find your language offensive. Would you like to reconsider sending this and edit it? And, uh, but fuck you. And, and, and I sent it along. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess I have another age restricted, I guess. One of my rants yesterday, I think I had the word ass in the uh, in the title of my video yesterday. So I'm age restricted because we cannot have anyone under the age of 18 reading the word ass on uh, on YouTube anymore. Don't get me off on this whole fucking rant that veg was going off on a few days ago about about these comments uh just the absolute ai cop bot attack on uh on offensive comments and it's not just youtube it's it's youtube it's yahoo news and, and now it's pile of fish like like what the fuck uh, it, it, if this message is considered uh, offensive on pile of fish. Uh, what, what the fuck does a dick pic warrant? Good fucking God. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up talking to my little imaginary friends now because I, I think my dirty laundry uh, should be ready to put into the dryer. You know, I, I, I've got a... <clears throat> I've got this big clothesline, you know, where I, for Sancho, not for clothes. I, I have this 
big clothesline hung across between two trees that I'm looking at. It's a 10 second walk from the clothes washer to that clothesline here in the sunshine state on a 90 degree sunny afternoon and what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to take the fucking clothes out of the washer and put them in an electric dryer and hit the start button but because I don't want to give myself fucking heat stroke putting clothes on the clothesline. Ah, Jesus. What a sad state of affairs this society has become. Bye, guys.